Sarah Hagen with Career and Student Employment Services at Western Michigan University, and today I'm going to give you the top five tips for having a successful virtual interview. Tip number one, consider your physical space. With virtual or video interviewing, it's crucial to consider the space around you. As best you're able, rid the background of clutter, minimize noise distractions, use a laptop on a steady surface rather than your cell phone to eliminate shaking or movement. If you don't have a strong microphone, use minimally noticeable headphones or earbuds to capture your voice. Dress as if you're in person from head to toe for a professional first impression. Tip number two, do a practice run. Ask a friend to help you test the software you'll be using before the actual interview. Make sure your internet speed can handle the stream and check that the audio is coming through clearly on both ends. On the day of the interview, log in a couple minutes early so you're ready to start on time. Tip number three, research and prepare. Research the company you're interviewing with before your interview. Review their website, search for them online, see if they've made the news recently. Practice your response to the tell me about yourself question, which is almost always the first question they'll ask. The stronger you start the interview, the more confident you'll feel. Tip number four, use the STAR method. STAR stands for situation, task, action, result. You can use this formula to answer any give me an example type questions. Start out briefly describing the situation and task and focus your answer on the specific action you took in that scenario. Remember to end with the result so you can loop back to the original question and give a conclusion to your story. And tip number five, send a thank you. Always send a thank you within 24 to 48 hours. This can be an email or a handwritten note. And you wanna thank the interviewer for their time, re-express your interest in the position, and let them know you look forward to hearing from them and continuing in the interview process. Now that you've got these tips down, let's check in with a human resources professional. Hi Broncos, this is Sarangi Pradhan with Stryker. I'm going to be adding a few more helpful interview tips for virtual interviewing. Virtual interviewing can be unnerving for some, but think of it this way. You get the opportunity to interview in a relaxing, familiar environment and showcase to the employer that you are the best candidate for the job. Tip number one, test your technology. I can't emphasize this enough. Make sure you have a good internet connection and good audio and video quality. Five minutes before the interview is not the time to be doing this, so you want to plan ahead and be prepared. Technical savvy is one of the top skills that the employers are looking for. Tip number two, minimize distractions. Make sure that all electronic devices around you are silenced or switched off, except for the one that you're gonna use for the virtual interview. If it's noisy outside, just close the windows. It may sound simple, but it's really important that you minimize distractions during the interview so you can relax and focus on the interview. Tip number three, monitor your body language. Avoid excessive hand movements and things like tapping your pen on the table. Sit up straight, look straight at the camera, maintain eye contact and smile. Tip number four, be prepared. Be very prepared. Make sure that you have researched the company as well as the industry ahead of time and have jotted down some notes. Have a printout of your resume next to you in case you need to refer to it. Be prepared to answer the question from the employer, do you have any questions for me? In the best case scenario, you would have some questions for the employer jotted down already. If not, or you panic and can't remember the questions, you can at least say, what are the next steps of the interview process? Tip number five, be authentic and leave a positive impression. This can be difficult because there's a physical disconnect. It can be difficult for the interviewer as well because they can't see your enthusiasm very clearly through the screen. So make sure that you maintain eye contact, ask follow-up questions, nod, smile, and indicate that you're following along. Be yourself. Be professionally expressive. 
and make sure that the employer remembers you for your personality and how you can add value to the company. Good luck interviewing. Go Broncos. Thank you.